Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the January 2015 Grade 7A Contest Question 21, which also came up in the Grade 9, 10, and 11, 12 contests. Now, the question is, Jim writes down a sequence of different positive whole numbers that are not bigger than 10. Jane notices that in each pair of neighboring numbers, one is divisible by the other. How many numbers did Jim write at the most? All right. Now let's start by writing down neighboring numbers. Now let's start off with the one. Now the one is a prime number, so of course it has no factors and any number is a multiple of one. So we will just keep that in mind. We won't write that down yet. Now let's go to the next number, which is two. Now two is a prime number, so it has no factors, but it has multiples, which are four, six, eight, and 10. All right, now let's go to the next number, which is three. Three is also a prime number, but it has multiples which are six and nine. Since the six is already here and it's connected to the two, we'll write the three beside that. And then since three is a factor of nine, we'll write the nine beside the three. Okay, now let's go to the next number, which is four. Now four is already written here, and we know that four has a factor, which is two, and that's already linked to it, but it also has a multiple, which is eight, so that's here, now we can link those two. All right, now let's go to the next number, which is five. Now five is a prime number, so it has no factors, but it has one multiple here, which is 10. Now we'll write the five bef beside that 10. Okay, now the next number, which is six, and the six, we know it has two factors, which are two and three, which is already linked to both of them. And it has no multiples because they would be greater than 10. Okay, now the next number, which is seven. Seven is also a prime number, so it has no factors, and any multiples of it would be greater than 10. So we will write the seven down here. All right, now the next number is eight, and eight has two factors, two and four, and it is already linked to both of them. And the multiples would be greater than 10. Now the next number is nine, and it just has a factor three, and it is already linked to that three. So now the last number, which is 10, and 10 has two factors, two and five, which it is already linked to both of them. Okay, now we have all the numbers. Now we want to find which sequence includes the most numbers, but we have a problem. Looking at this two, we can see that it has four neighbors. And in the sequence, of course, it can only have two neighbors. Now we must, so that means that we must take away two of these four links. Now it doesn't matter if we take away this link or this link, we will, these two numbers will still have connectivity to the rest of the numbers. For example, if we take away this link, they will still be linked here and this link here. So let's just take away this link. Okay. Now, we still have a problem because the two still has three neighbors and it can only have two neighbors. All right, now here we can see that it is linked to three numbers, here it's linked to two other numbers, and here it's linked to two other numbers. So we should take away either this link or this link. Now, it doesn't matter if we take away this link or this link, because for example, if we take away this link here, then we can still write a one beside this and link either this one number or these two numbers. And now since we want the maximum number, we want the maximum number of numbers to write, here is one number, here's two numbers, so of course we will link two numbers. We will write the four and the eight, and we must leave out the seven. So the maximum numbers that Jim could have written is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the answer is nine. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at caributests.com.